there you are. Hmm? Is this ours? Yeah. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Let me switch off this thing. Uh, so we came shopping, we came to the mall here in Limerick just to do a few shopping. It's gonna be a holiday on Friday, St. Patrick's Day, so the kids have to wear green stuffs. So we're just getting a few green stuffs here. Please don't don't ruin my video. Why did I even put you in? Hey. So yeah, um, we'll be taking you along. I came with all of them. Rikum was right there in his baby seat, and then here is Queen Lou. <laughs> I shouldn't tell them that you have a baby seat. Yeah. Okay. We come with that and have a baby seat. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's go outside. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed <laughs> that music. Is it music or choir? What do I call it? So yeah, we are on our way to the shopping center. They say it's the biggest shopping center in Limerick City here in Ireland. And um, yeah, me driving with my music. I love to drive with music, especially music that's close to my heart like this one. This city was given to me as a gift and I love it so much. You know, Unum Choir is the best. In case you don't know, Unum is the main university of Namibia. It stands for University of Namibia. And the city that I was listening to in the car was actually um, given to me as a gift from my department at you now. Because we're probably gonna be knowing mommy are gonna be we're gonna be the shopping for St. Patrick they say. We're gonna be the best No, but maybe just two or one and a half. We're gonna be the best Or maybe three. So at this point we are debating with my daughter she says grove mall in namibia Winduk. if you haven't seen it it is in one of my videos um here on on youtube we have spoken about the three main malls in Winduk, the capital city of namibia so my daughter says this mall is small this mall is not as beautiful as grove mall in namibia this mall is this and that and i was trying to tell her that it's actually big it was the first time coming here and imagine she has not even entered the mall and she's already saying oh my gosh this mall is this this is mall, this mall is that so i was trying to tell her that it's really big because for me it's not my first time like i've been here like twice since i got here so i've seen how big it is okay the structure and everything is not the same obviously uh this is a different country i know the architecture are totally different the way that their buildings are designed um is totally different from the way namibian buildings are designed yeah even the houses and everything you would find a few similarities here and there but there's totally a different a difference rather so i was basically just trying to convince her that you know the mall is really huge the mall is really huge even though the design is totally different um grove mall is more of like a new new design you know it looks um should i say 
you know, new designs, you know, new designs are obviously better than old designs. If you look at new houses with the new designs, they're totally different from the way houses used to be built back in the years. But I still think the mall is really big and it has a whole lot of options, a whole lot of shops compared to, to Grove Mall. I haven't here. counted how many shops there are. Basically, Wait for to, us. to we make can... a comparison, this is not a deep, deep comparison, just to tell you that. You know, it's it's quite big. It's quite big. It is not bad at all. It is not something that you'd look at and you'd be like, wow. But it's big compared to Grove Mall of Namibia. We are going to the bathroom. Let's let's uh, empty our bladders before we we start shopping. <laughs> Okay guys, we are finally done here at the mall, so we'll be going home. We want to pass by McDonald's and maybe uh, one more shop before we go home. So we'll take you along. Let's go guys. Let me hear from these kids. Are you guys happy today? Yes! Finally came out, right? Hello! Yeah. <laughs> the person on the baby chair is greeting everybody. <laughs> yeah, I told you not to tell them. Okay, I don't tell them. Let's go now. Bro, 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 uh, mommy, your head is in the way. Mm. That's so, this is us exiting the mall. Guys, the mall is big. I couldn't really take a video of the whole mall because we just went to one part of the, sh the mall um, that I usually go to and basically. I have no energy to be moving around the mall and all that so and you know shopping with kids is really a struggle because you have to push them around and this is not windwick where there are just a few people in the mall it's a busy mall there are people everywhere walking doing these you know shopping and stuff decided to pass by a petrol station and put in some petrol but it seems like we're gonna be sleeping here because some people that are in front of us I don't know what they're waiting for whether they're inside the shop whether they I have no 
idea. It's as if they can't see that there's a car behind them. They should have filled already, but if they're filled already, then they should at least shift. But anyways, let's wait and see because they've been here for years now. Yes. After waiting for so long, we finally, you know, managed to put petrol. Oh, guys, <laughs> my window is so dirty, like bed poop, you know. There are beds everywhere here. Like, they are just a bad everywhere. So, as always, in Ireland, you're not served, you know. You don't have full attendance to serve you at petrol station, unlike in Namibia, where you just sit in your car and somebody pumps in petrol. But no, in Ireland, you have to serve yourself. So, I had to do it myself. At first, it was a struggle, but now I've gotten used to it. Yeah, so there I am. Now, after filling in, you have to go and pay inside. Hey, you do this in Namibia. <laughs> I think I understand why um, in Namibia, somebody has to serve you. Because okay. imagine if this had to happen yeah, in Namibia. Yeah, it's a simple
Do you go out with Tracy, Mikael? Yeah. What do you do? We go and play with football. Guys, working with kids is a problem. They want to finish my wallet. <laughs> now we are at McDonald's, you know, trying to get, you see there? Trying to get something. They want to finish my wallet too. These small people. What's my whole what? wallet. <laughs> my whole wallet is finito. It's not finito. <laughs> it's still enough. Guys, finally we're going home and it's late, like really late. It's 7 p.m. But it's good that we've wasted enough time. I'm supposed to put my hand So we just go home and you know, sleep. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I don't want to sleep. We gonna leave the oh I still have to go and cook by the way. We we have to now imagine uh, like they're also holding like so I'm going to end the vlog here. I'll see you again in my next vlog.